So we've been waiting to see whether Elon Musk would kind of confirm or deny or provide more clarity about that tweet that came from his account that we still haven't been able to really verify whether that was his true intention to take it private. We would say this. Somebody tweeted at Elon Musk saying, morning, can you confirm if you would retain control over the company? It wouldn't be an outright sale question mark. To which Elon Musk's verified account then tweeted back in reply, I don't have a controlling vote now and wouldn't expect any shareholder to have one if we go private. I won't be selling in either scenario. It doesn't really say whether or not he's confirming this $420 number that's being put out there per share for a take private transaction. What it does say is that he's talking about not selling in either situation. We should remind viewers right now, and, and perhaps Leslie Picker brought this up before, that he owns about 20 percent, just shy of 20 percent of shares outstanding in Tesla. So in any scenario that we talk about, guys, we'll talk about the market value. We'll talk about the total enterprise value that is minus the cash and then put in all the other debt that's going on with it. With that right now, we currently see in Perfax at around maybe 73 or so billion dollars in total enterprise value. Whether or not that kind of sticks remains to be seen. But that's the latest on Twitter. It doesn't really say anything about whether or not Elon Musk really meant to say what he wanted to say with that take private proposition at 420. But guys. obliquely by saying uh, I would not expect anyone, to, including himself, to have a controlling stake if we do or don't go private. That is kind of, to me, an implicit um, acknowledgement uh, that he's thinking about. I, I mean, perhaps it is. I, I am not going to pro profess to know what's it's in not Elon a denial. Musk's. It is not a denial. I you, you, you know, we journalists, we say, well, you, you if it's didn't not a deny denial. it, and he didn't. <laughs> right. He, he did not do it. But what's also curious about this, too, is this was in response to another tweet. So it's not like he came out and just flat out said that this is what he wants to do. It's in response to a question from somebody else. So whether or not this is the stream of consciousness that Elon Musk wants to put out there, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure anybody besides Elon Musk does know that. But what it is doing right now, as you can see, those shares up by about 7 percent. We've been kind of moving back and forth between the up four and a half, five 5 percent to the up 7, 8 percent mark there. And that's pretty much where we've stayed throughout the duration of this financial time story with, with, with regard to Saudi Arabia and then the subsequent tweet stories. So I, I'm not sure if this provides any more clarity on it. But like you said, it's not a flat out denial. It's just not also a statement of fact either from Elon Musk, guys. I and I'd also note that this is what he tends to do on Twitter. He does tend to answer questions and add more details through Twitter threads. Uh, and it, it is also what he does in terms of his companies. He's constantly amassing more stock, whether it is Tesla or whether it is SpaceX uh, on the private markets. He's not one to sell. He's one to tend to buy more and hold.